Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a quick plan with me in my 23rd week of my Hobonichi Weeks for 2022. So if you're interested in seeing how I use some of these supplies to create a weekly spread, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before we get right into the plan with me portion of this video, I just wanted to thank you so very much in advance for taking the time to watch my video today. As always, if you enjoy this style or this type of video or this video in general, I would so very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would really, really appreciate it if you decide to join us, hit that subscribe button, as well as that little notification bell down below so that you're notified when I release videos similar to this. All right, so before we get right into the plan with me portion, let's talk a little bit about the supplies I plan to use. So I've been doing a little bit better at trying to consolidate my supplies, but to be honest, I have a ton of other supplies also surrounding me right now <laughs> outside our frame. So the pens I'll be using today are my Uni Jet Stream, my 0.5 Zebra Mechanical Pencil, 0.5 millimeter, sorry, and of course my trusty Pilot Vanishing Point pen with the EF nib in paired with my Deatramentis Archive ink in black, I'm sorry. And the brush pens I have are my Archer and Olive Calligraph pens in olive. This one doesn't have a name, this blue color. I think it came from one of the subscription boxes as well as this um, Tombow Dual Brush Pen in 912. I also have my Raymay ruler that I picked up from Jet Pens, my Cricut tweezers for stickers, some grid washi tape that I picked up off Amazon, and um, a random plastic eraser from Tombow that I also got from Amazon, my Hobonichi basic stencil, some urban blotting paper, as well as my Hobonichi writing board, and this very basic black clip. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. So I picked a couple of uh, sticker sheets from my Sticky Club subscription. I think this came from a cute pack. Um, don't know what month, but <laughs> if you're interested in that, I do do unboxing videos of my uh, sticky club subscription box i was gonna say boxes my subscription period uh because i canceled the vintage one i think this was the cute pack love the farm um farmer's market vibes sorry i was trying to got lost there and i love when they're when they provide sticker sheets that actually tie into one another so you'll notice for the previous week it was the same thing they had like these little block stickers that are very good for not only covering up boo-boos but also very easy to write on so you see here and then i also use that same sticker sheet in my monthly spread here as well as you can see i just cut them down and use them there so that one tied into the sticker sheet and so this week i'm loving that these two tie into each other and i actually do have kind of an idea of what i want to do so we're just gonna go right for it. So one of the things I love doing is separating this left side of the page into two columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I like to put the major events of the day on the left side and my daily tasks with five check boxes on the right. Something that I really don't plan on changing. I watched some amazing videos about like different options and, and uh, while they all sound fantastic, um, I just really don't see myself ever changing it up so i do apologize <laughs> but uh, my as my husband always says why mess with success right all right so i just line it up there kind of randomly I like to make the right side slightly larger i'm just using my pencil here for a very light mark i'm going to be in class friday and saturday i only know that because i referenced my monthly spread before i set this up so that is something I'm definitely trying to do nowadays is to utilize my monthly spreads more heavily. So I have a doctor's appointment on Monday. I'm taking nine hours of sick leave to take care of that and get glasses and things. And then I am in class the 10th and 11th and have a few birthdays on the 11th. So that's what we'll show here. So 10th and 11th. I do want to maybe color that a little bit just so that I remember. And actually, what I don't have available nearby are my DIY planner stickers where I made little like birthday cakes to mark the birthdays. So I might have to take a break and go grab that. So Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna mark that. Just using my washi tape here. Typically, I like to put it on the table so that I don't rip the sheet later, but you know what? Skip that step, whoops. I think I'm going to, so I like to pick the stickers first before I start coloring it in. 
and I was thinking, so I like to choose vertical stickers for the days that I'm in class. So I think I'm gonna use this cute little coffee guy here. And so I was going to use this blue pen, but I think it'll be too matchy matchy. So I might go ahead and use this 912 peachy color and or the green. So there's actually no green here, but I was thinking of using this little farmer stand here. So that might be nice to tie in. So I'm gonna use a broad tip, brush tip end here. Ooh, that is so dark. I actually referenced my pen test page instead of doing a pen test and kind of guessed because hmm, it's very, very dark <laughs> and doesn't really match, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe it'll uh, dull up. And then I was thinking about using this one up here to just show that my husband and I are going to hopefully go on a date that day since I have a bunch of doctor's appointments. And so we'll do that here. I'm gonna set this aside just in case we wanna use this again. Although if I do do it again, I probably need a longer strip, but it's okay. Don't wanna waste it. And then up here, as I mentioned, I'm just gonna put this these cuties up top and just cover up that lettering there. Kind of signify that I would like to spend some time with my husband when I'm not in my doctor's appointments that day to spend some time together. And I could put this little doggy here or here. So I'm afraid to make it too heavy here, but what I'm gonna do is place this one down first and then kind of go from there. I was thinking down here would be good. Uh, before I place her down, I'm going to use some of this good washi tape. Honestly, <laughs> so filming these plan with me's are really stressful for me. Uh, just cause like having the camera on top of your head and trying not to get your hair in um, in frame is just very stressful for me. I uh, don't know if any of you all, I'm sure plenty of you do know what I'm talking about. So that's why I'm trying to have a little bit more of a like a laxed approach to it so that I don't get so stressed out because it really stresses me out. <laughs> uh, but I like playing with me's because that's how I like to watch and learn. All right, so we're gonna place this guy down here or gal, I guess. Guy or gal, love it. And actually I didn't fully rip it so I just have my Cricut scissors. Can you give it a haircut? All right. But yeah, so I'm not really looking forward to that doctor's appointment on Monday. I keep telling my husband that and he's just like, why? Um, but who really does look forward to a doctor's appointment? So I have an 8.30, I think it's 8.30. Yep, 8.30 on this day. So I'm gonna grab my Pigma Micron that I didn't actually have go over. I like to use this one because there's really no feathering and it dries really quickly. Just great, great all around fine liner. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to wake up super early to make it to that appointment, <laughs> but that is a okay. And this is like a weird sticker to have, but that's okay. <laughs> We're not gonna mind that at all. Yeah, put that down here. So I've been kind of MIA on YouTube for a while um, because I've been super busy <laughs> with school. So hopefully I make up with um, posting some more videos lately. I'm um, thinking, so like now they kind of clash. <laughs> now that this is like such a bright green that doesn't even match this side. I was trying to tie in this green to that. Um, so I, would ideally like to put this kind of over here, but if I put it in the center, then it leaves me this awkward space. So I might just put them over here on the right. I could either do that or put them here to butt them up against. I think I want to do this instead. Hopefully you're straight because you're not moving. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> 
a little doggy and a little coffee thing. Okay. And then I want to do, so now I'm a little nervous because this green wasn't what I expected. Maybe this blue isn't what I expected either. <laughs> oh well, there's only one way to find out, right? Okay, so typically I like to do a header and then just kind of use this to separate the page. So I'll probably do one here. I think that'd be good. And then maybe up top, but then I have like this awkwardly large space, which I'm okay with. Cause if I do my running task list, like I have been, that would be fine. So I think I'm going to do that, which means I need more washi tape. <laughs> and you know, in the beginning, I used to not want to use this grid washi tape and only for like decorative purposes, but you know, I think it's okay to use it up. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I have to buy like another set for 12 bucks. Not a problem. Okay. It brings me joy to use this. <laughs> straight it's gonna give me a straight line so it's okay if it's not perfect is that true no, i'm just kidding it's definitely uh, i tend to definitely be some some sort of perfectionist oh that is so beautiful whether it matches or not that is such a beautiful color oh wow okay and so i'm gonna just very carefully rip this up You know, the funny thing is the one color that I didn't use is probably the one that would have matched the best. All right, and then I'm going to use this for running tasks and then we're gonna come down here. Maybe do some journaling down here. Really don't know. We'll figure it out. I did like the idea of a habit tracker. Like I felt like it really did help get me to do things. Which is always the goal of a habit tracker, right? Okay. I think I missed this portion down here. Right? Hopefully that doesn't. Oh, it's so beautiful. Not my artwork, just the color of the pen. Alright, so I'm really loving this. It's June. So what I might do now is just, I don't like to add so many colors, but I'm just gonna have fun this week. Just write June down here. Oh yes, I mean like, look how nice that matches. <laughs> I should have stuck to this color. I love how bright it is. Oh my goodness, I spelled June wrong. Oh, that's okay, we'll just put J in. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was, I was so focused on something else. Okay, let's see if we can cover that up. Oh yeah, look at that guy. He, he looks like he means business too. Okay, <laughs> we'll cover that up. That is freaking hilarious. I don't even know what I'm gonna write on there. Maybe that could be my habit, habit tracker. Uh, oops, let's get this little mousy. Yes, actually, that might be a good idea. This can be my habit tracker. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, one, oh, sorry, seven of these. It's perfect, right? So it's almost like they planned that out. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uni jet stream, we're gonna line this guy up and we're gonna make this into a habit tracker. I just have to figure out what habit I want to track. Um, I'm thinking like studying for school, but I also have my school planner, so I'm not sure. I should have done this before I play, put it in to the planner. But there's definitely like a bump. Yep, and then as I go through the week, we'll just like cross it out. And what I might even do is, no, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then we'll figure out what we're tracking later. <laughs> so that was an easy fix to my boo-boo. And then up here, I think we can really afford to add some more stickers. I really like this guy, he's kind of large. Um, 
I like this one's buying mangoes. Is that a mango? I'm not really sure what that is. I should have <laughs> get that one to myself. Um, I kind of want to put something here. Like, I don't want to go crazy, but I kind of do. I definitely do want to go crazy with stickers. And I have to remember too that like, okay, so you know what? Before we do that, let's go ahead and fill out the tasks or the, um, yes, the running task list here so that I know where I can put stickers without obstructing what I needed to do. So here I like to do And then I like doing the tasks, probably like give it a spot here and down there. And then just go down here. I want to break it up into different sections. So we're going to do that like we did the previous week. Let's use this fun color. Like why not? Let's just go ham and just kind of go down and mark where I want to segment each of these categories. That is so bright. Okay, yes. <laughs> so committed to color this month for sure. Okay. Or this week, um, excuse me. All right. Look at that. Look at how crazy different this is, like how colorful this one is compared to like how muted. I really like the other one. <laughs> okay, let me, let, me not, let me not be too harsh here. Okay. So we did that, and then I think what I'm gonna do is do line, a vertical line here. With my jet stream. Let's see. Mm, yeah, let's just take it all the way down. Okay, and so I'm gonna track my tasks here, and I think I need to break it down into different categories let's see what we had last month and the previous ones so definitely one for school one for cleaning i think one for gardening and maybe a shopping list is good i think that was pretty pretty good spread so oh, you know what i use my pigma micron and we have a situation here so maybe that'll be the other category very easy haven't figured out what to do here um i forgot to place the stickers down <laughs> okay it's gonna make it a little awkward um, he's kind of a cutie i could put her there but that would So we don't want to obstruct, I guess I could, no, <laughs> I don't want to obstruct that area too much. And then I'm going to put one more. He doesn't look like he's cleaning, so that would be awkward. put something up here that's kind of weird too that's okay I'll just do it whatever it looks like he has a book bag <laughs> he could be going to school with a bunch of vegetables I mean why not and then I want to see what else I have so then I said I have class here and I think there is one more oh birthday so I have a couple birthdays that day that I do want to remember uh, so class and birthdays. You know what? Let me see if I can grab my happy planner sticker book. So, cause I think that one might be an easier one to grab so that I can get 
All right, so I have this very old seasonal sticker book from Happy Planner, and I know that it has like a birthdays sheet. So I'm gonna actually just pull it out because all of the other sheets are honestly just falling, falling out anyway. Okay. So we have a couple birthdays here and I wanna remember that. So I'm gonna put this down. I think I'm gonna use this birthday sticker. Sometimes I like to use the candle. Although I will say this candle does surprisingly go well with that color. Huh. So maybe I'll use both. <laughs> so we'll use this. Here. And now we we'll use a birthday sticker. This is so old. This is like the OG Happy Planner for me. <laughs> Happy Planner sticker book. So that's their birthdays. And I'm gonna write that in here. So, two birthdays on the 11th. And now I have to just go in and fill out some of these like tasks things. I don't know what color I'm going to use just yet. Maybe because everything else is so fruity and colorful, I will just go very simple with my uni jet stream and then we'll be done. So let's see if I can find this clip. I honestly have a few of these just lying around because they're so cheap and I have so many of them. So. I'm going to skip this day because clearly I'm going to be out and I took up a lot of that space there. And I like to just line it up and do five. Typically on the Sunday after I can get a lot more done. I don't really know what I'm using this section for just yet I kind of want to put a header here. So let's see if we can find a sticker for that Ooh. I have some of these From the paper studio, I don't recall that they have really any headers In here, they're more of like these you're doing great. I promise I've used that before. Find the good. Never settle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything there. This one has a lot of like kind of motivational headers that I've used before too. Power through. How's about that? Does it kind of match? You know what? Let's just get it. Why not? Oh my goodness, I'm really struggling. Okay, and I think we're almost done. So I'm just gonna put some of that adhesive off just in case I need to reposition it. Alrighty friends, so that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this quick plan with me. If you did, as always, I would so very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you decide to join us, hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell down below. Thank you and until next time, bye everyone.